What do you got for me, Detective Gavin? Nothing pretty, Detective Hugh. No, I'm kidding. Whoever's running this lab has definitely never heard of the 12th principle of green chemistry. You mean inherently safer chemistry for accident prevention? Uh, someone. It states that substances and the form of substances used in the chemical process should be chosen to minimize the potential of chemical accidents. Including fires, explosions, and releases. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. You minimize the risk of accidents by developing safer procedures. So many you got. Well, not only is this lab full of possible accidents, spills, and unlabeled solutions outside of the fume hood, I also found this synthesis that is rife with hazards. My god, this synthesis uses methyl isocyanate. Did they not remember the deadly and toxic release that happened in 1984? Thousands of people died when it was released into the atmosphere. Clearly not, or they wouldn't be using it today. Especially considering there's a safer and less toxic option, methylformamide. This has to be stopped before somebody gets hurt. And that's not all. Take a look at this. This right here is a massive fire and explosion risk. You're right. Oxidizers and flammables should never be stored next to each other. They could cause a massive fire and explosion. That puts not only this lab at risk, but people in the other labs in the building and in the surrounding area. Chemistry should never be done like this. We're detective from the Green Chemistry Initiative. Is this your lab? Uh, yeah. Even drinks in the lab. Another strike against green chemistry. They're coming with us. Are you aware of the 12th principle of green chemistry? Uh, 12th principle? No. What's that? Thought so. It states that chemistry should be done to inherently minimize the risk of accidents. Okay, and why are you talking to me? Are you aware that some of your syntheses contain toxic and very harmful chemicals that could be released into the environment? That storing oxidizers in your flammable materials can create a risk of fire and explosions? Or that unlabeled substances and neglected spills leaves everyone in the lab at risk of accident and injury? You're right. Look, I'm sorry, it's just sometimes I get so caught up in what I'm doing with my day to day that I, I just forget to think about what can happen. That is no excuse for unsafe and frankly dangerous chemistry. Okay, 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 I get it. I'll fix all that stuff. And I will make a habit of prioritizing safety with every chemical procedure. Good. And if you ever forget, you can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to see all of the principles of great chemistry. And if you want to know more, you can check out our website, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description down below.